breaking now. A toddler killed when a concrete mixer falls on an overpass, crushing his family's SUV. Stunned bystanders racing in to help. Everybody was even trying to get everybody to come up there and try to push the try to push the truck up. That's how that's how hard everybody was trying to do something. The boy's twin sister and two adults did survive this awful crash. We're taking you live to the horrific scene as it continues to unfold as we get started on a tragic Friday night. ABC 13 Eyewitness News starts now. Welcome to the news at 6 o'clock. It is happening over on the East Beltway near Wood Forest. There is a lot of businesses around that area, and so many people try to help that poor family in that SUV. ABC 13's Courtney Carpenter has been live at the scene all afternoon. And Courtney, I understand those Good Samaritans just really shared some gut-wrenching surveillance video. It actually shows you what happened? Yeah, that's right. Mel and Mata, this all just heartbreaking and still going on here. Still hours later, right now, crews are working. They've got a crane out here trying to still lift this concrete truck off of this SUV. And it's just so sad. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says there were four people inside that SUV, two of them toddlers, just 22 months old, twins, a boy and a girl. And that little boy, guys, was not able to be rescued, died out here in this accident. Accident. Absolutely heartbreaking. But yes, we do have that surveillance video to show you. This is a security camera from a nearby business. In just a little bit, you'll hear from the people inside who rushed in to try to help out this family. Absolutely crazy to see and in that video you can actually see the concrete truck flip over the overpass and the Harris County Sheriff's Office says that concrete truck was on the beltway and it was raining at the time. The driver of the concrete truck told authorities her vehicle started slipping and she couldn't control it. Then it hit that concrete barrier wall and flipped over crushing the SUV below here at the intersection of Wood Forest and the beltway. Now we spoke to a couple of guys who shared this video with us. They were at work. They saw this all happen and they did everything they could to help. Go ahead and take a listen. We tried to grab the baby initially, first and foremost. Uh, it was, she was kind of pinned in. I was reaching back, but the front seat was a little hard to get, and he starts yanking on the front seat, and I started yanking on the car seat for the baby to get her out. Uh, we were able to actually get her from where she was pinned in. Uh, we ran and put her in the lady's car. And we made sure that the grandma and everything, because the yeah. grandma didn't want to get out. She was she was pretty she was, distraught, and she didn't want to leave the baby. We tried to do what we can. We tried to, everybody had to get together, try to see if there's any way we can move the dump truck. We had a, an 18-wheeler try to strap a chain to it, try to pull it off. We had a big 4x4 four four dually truck. I mean, it just wasn't budging. I first called my wife, and I just told her, give my kids a hug, kiss. Give them a hug, kiss. She never know. I mean, clearly shaken up. It's just uh, a lot of people are out here still watching as all of this is happening. That that concrete truck finally upright hours after this happened. And you can see, guys, now just how horrific the impact was to the back of that SUV. But everyone watching on. Uh, and as this news has unfolded, of course, that, that young boy um, dying in this crash, just certainly horrific situation. Crews from all over are out here working. And clearly this is still a big mess out here at Beltway 8 in Wood Forest, certainly an area to avoid as they will continue to investigate this for a while longer. And we'll bring you the latest.